Man, this guy does not rest. The developer behind Klein, which is the autonomous AI coding agent, Saud, has just released Klein version 3.1, and it is truly insane. He just recently worked on version 3, which came out a week ago. But to backtrack and explain what Klein is for the people who do not know, Klein is an autonomous coding agent right in your IDE, capable of creating, editing files, executing commands, using your browser, and much more with your permission each step of the way. I've made multiple videos on it, and I definitely recommend that you check it out if you do not know what this truly is, but the link's in the description below. But essentially, with this new version 3.1 update, it encompasses around checkpoints. This is essentially where Klein can now take snapshots of your workspace after each step so that you can easily restore to a previous point in your task. Now, before I get started and showcase this update further, you can easily install this for the people who do not have it with an IDE. It's an extension that you can install with your IDE like VS Code. So if you want to get started with VS Code, go ahead and click on the download link below. Once that is done, go over to the extension marketplace and then go ahead and click install. Now, for the people who have Klein already installed, you can go over to the extension tab within VS Code, click on Klein, and you should get an option to restart it if you have it on auto update this way you're going to be able to update to the latest version automatically and then you will just simply need to click on restart and you should be able to access version 3.1 ever felt stuck when learning complex subjects like math data science or even programming well let's talk about something that's been a game changer for me and it's called brilliant Brilliant is where you learn by doing. They've created thousands of interactive lessons that make it easier for you to dive into subjects like mathematics, data science, programming, and even AI. Now, personally, I love Brilliant because it's all about problem solving, not memorization, with their first principle approach where you can build a solid understanding from the ground up. It's proven to be six times more effective than just watching videos, and it's crafted by experts from places like MIT and Google. Whether you're on your phone or desktop, you can learn something new in a few minutes. Plus, Brilliant recently launched new courses like data science with real-world data or Python programming that's perfect for beginners and pros alike. To try Brilliant for free for 30 days and get 20% off of your annual premium subscription, visit the link in the description below so that you can access it. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. So let's get started and showcase the demo. I'm going to go ahead and create a simple e-com website that sells glasses. Now we're going to go ahead and send in this prompt. And what we're going to be able to showcase is the checkpoints once it generates the initial document or the folder. So we're going to go ahead and let it create the base project files. And eventually I'll showcase the checkpoint features. Now for the people who haven't seen my version 3.0 client release video, I definitely recommend that you do so. But if you are to take a look at that video, you'll notice what I emphasize on, which is auto approve. This is essentially a feature where you can simply enable client to easily go ahead and auto complete every task that is necessary rather than me going ahead and clicking on approve. In this case, it's essentially creating everything autonomously without me intervening it even uses the browser use uh, api to go over to this website to see if it's actually functional and this is all being done autonomously now guys i'm actually an idiot it stated that you should have client opened up within a folder or a workspace i had it now opened up within this folder which states glasses stores and i worked on putting in a random prompt to showcase this new feature so we can see over here that you will now see this new button which showcases see new changes. So if you are to click on this, it will showcase a preview of all the changes that happen. So essentially, I had this eyewear store. I had requested it to become fully black and I told it to revert back to light shade. And you can see it made the necessary changes to take out that black color. And you can now see this new option, which showcases all the new changes that were made to multiple different files, which is just really nice and convenient. Now, if you are to click on the compare button, this will allow you to compare between the previous generation to the new generation. And you also have the ability to restore back to 
different types of generations. You can restore the task only. You can restore the workspace only, which is where you can restore your project files to a snapshot taken at this point. This is where it will go back to the previous workspace uh, generation. You can also have it so that both of these two are back to or like restored back to the previous generation. So if I'm to click on this, you can see that it will go back to my previous uh, color shade. And there we go. You can see in that previous output, it was fully white, but now I reverted back to a blacker shade. And we can now see this e commerce store with this new generation. Guys, this is just truly insane how incredible Klein has become. You can easily automate so many different things from generating random snippets of code to building full stack applications without you even doing anything. You can simply just send in a prompt and it'll autonomously execute your task for you, which is just insane. Now, I went along and I've inputted another prompt to improve the UI, which you can see over here. But you can see at each step, you can view a change that was made. So in this case, you can see Klein is working on the styling. You can go ahead and click on the changes button as well as the restore button to go back to a previous generation. And you can do this with each generation. So if there's a certain part, it has changed uh, a certain segment of the snippet, you can go back and look at the comparison of the code. You can also do this all the way at the bottom where you can click on this button to see all the changes that were made. In this case, it added a lot of new things and you can visualize this by going over to the website, which is over here. This is the new UI. You can see it looks pretty sleek and you actually have the ability to add things to cart, which will then make the changes on the top right. This is just a super simple way for you to get the best generations out of client. There's also a pretty small new update, which is definitely really nice to have. This is where you have a task size management button. So if you have to go back into client on the top of client, you can see that there is this button this trash can in which you can delete the uh, I would say cache that has been reserved from a single task it uses git under the hood and this is to efficiently track the changes and it can basically allow you to reduce additional disk space whenever you are working with the task so you can easily monitor how much space is being used for a certain type of generation and you can even delete the task that is no longer needed which is going to make it super simple for you to manage disk space. But guys, that's basically it for today's video on this new Klein update. I definitely recommend that you try it out. But to me, it's quite evident that Klein is probably one of the best AI coding agents that's out there that you can get started with completely for free without any sort of paywall. This is a great new feature and it seems that Saud as well as his team just keeps on launching new updates on a weekly basis. So I'm definitely excited to see what they end up releasing next week. But that's basically it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon, follow me on the Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel. Make sure you guys turn on the notification bell and follow me on my recent uploads so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But that's practically it for today's video, guys. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly, fairly soon. Peace out, fellas.